Hi, everybody. It's Jay. Welcome to Say with Jay, your home for full length and completely free audiobooks. And it's the exclusive YouTube home for USA Today best selling author Jesse Gussman. Last week, we did a live preview uh, for Heartland Faith, Jesse's latest book, which is out today, as a matter of fact, in the channel. Be sure and check that out. Um, the preview was pretty well received, so we thought we would give it another go today with Jesse's next book, Cowboy Coming Home. Before I get into that, as always, if you like what you're seeing, please hit that subscribe button and the notify bell so we can let you know when new videos are available. Also, more than that even, give us a thumbs up if you like what you see and leave us a comment. We love to hear from you guys. So with that said, here's a scene from Cowboy Coming Home. Hope you like it. Look out, a deep male voice said, drawing her attention away from the calf that had just caught her eye. Her brain hadn't had time to process what it was and where it came from, and toward the voice rather than toward the cow. Out of her peripheral vision, she saw the cow coming for her. Sometimes things happened and it felt like they were happening in slow motion in a person's head, while real life never slowed. That was one of those times for Glory. Since she knew the cow was coming, and she knew her feet needed to run, but she hadn't gotten the signal from her brain to her feet, and she stood rooted to the floor for what felt like five minutes, but was probably only a second or so. A body came from her left, plowing into the neck of the cow, just as the black head came within inches of Glory's stomach. Her feet finally got the memo, and she ran to the side of the pen, one foot on the bottom board, but she didn't throw herself over. Instead, she glanced over her shoulder to see what had become of the person who attacked the cow that was attacking her. Later, maybe she would shake her head over that one. Working in a sail barn, she would have said she'd seen everything. This wasn't the first time she'd been attacked by a cow but it was probably one of the closer times, and all because she hadn't been paying attention. Growing up, her dad always, always told her, keep your eye on the cow. Don't ever take your eyes off the cow. She hadn't listened. It hadn't gotten her, but some other one might. The man, tall, wearing a t-shirt and faded jeans, with square-toed cowboy boots and a ball cap, had run into the cow, knocking her off course enough for Glory to get away. But the way the cow had turned when he hit her had knocked the man off balance, and Glory turned in time to see him sprawled on the ground, rolling immediately toward the fence. Smart man, not taking the time to get up. Except, this was the goat pen. The fence was farther away than it usually was, and there wasn't enough room between the boards for the man to get through. The cow, truly upset and scared now, and driven by instinct to do anything to protect her baby, stopped, glanced at the calf on the ground, then back to the man. She lowered her head and ran toward him. Glory saw it, but the cow had smashed the man into the fence as he'd started to stand to get over it, and ground her head into his rib cage before Glory got a shout out of her mouth and was able to move herself forward. She thought she heard a crack, but she hoped she was wrong, because it was almost certainly the man's ribs. Knowing that it should have been her getting smashed into the fence if the man hadn't saved her, she couldn't turn away, even though the mama cow was scared and would almost certainly attack her as well. At least she was on her feet and had a decent chance of getting away now that she was paying attention. Hopefully, she could at least get the cow turned around. Surely the shouting would get someone coming toward them, someone to help, and if the man couldn't get himself up, someone would be there to drag him away if she could keep the cow away from him. Her movement caused the cow to look at her but not leave the man. Glory knew what would draw the cow to her. She switched directions, and rather than lunging at the cow, she took three steps toward the calf. 
The mama wanted to protect her baby, and nothing would draw a mama like something going toward her precious little one. That was the instinct driving her now, and that was the instinct Glory played on. She was no match for a 1,600-pound cow, but she liked to think her brain was bigger. She was using it now because brute strength wasn't going to get her anywhere. Sure enough, the mama swung around, faster than one would think a clumsy cow would be able to swing, and charged toward the human by her baby. Glory got out of the way, backpedaling as fast as she could. She smacked into the fence, her hands automatically gripping it and her foot going to the bottom rung. The cow didn't chase her, standing over her calf, and she stood where she was, trying to see if the man could move. The cow was in her way. Come on, Mama, she said. Come and get me. She wasn't taunting. Well, maybe she was. She felt pretty secure in her position, secure that she could get over the fence before the Mama got to her. But she didn't really want the Mama to do that, because she'd want to turn back toward her calf right away, and the man might catch her eye. Moving a little along the fence so she could see around the corner of the side of the cow, Glory caught movement in the dim back corner. At least, the man wasn't dead. She hadn't really thought he was, since the cow had gone after his chest. That wouldn't kill him right away. It would be more of a slow death. He'd end up in the hospital with pneumonia, a punctured lung, internal injuries, and he'd never get better but just fade away. Even strong, young, and healthy men sometimes couldn't pull through when their chest was smashed. She'd seen it. Thankfully, this cow didn't have horns, or the man might need an undertaker rather than an ambulance. The cow hadn't moved, and Glory could see the man was up, one arm crossed high over his stomach, like he was keeping the pain in, and standing slightly hunched over, like straightening hurt, and he just couldn't do it. But rather than going to the gate or throwing himself over the fence, he was looking for her. Get on the other side, he said, his words strong but laced with pain. Like a sturdy metal gate that was slightly rusted. I can make it before she gets to me, Glory said right away, not wanting the cow to turn around. She stood over top of her calf, and she'd probably be fine as no one made a move toward her. You get out of there. You first, the man said, his tone commanding and brooking no argument. <laughs>